see what the scrying pool reveals. There's something happening on the beach. It's the Agra. They're invading Arteum. The Pearl. Somehow it was used to summon the Yagra. We need to defend the beach. Wait, is that a sword? That would be mine. I'm on my way to help. Eventually. The Golden Knight and his sword can wait. The Yagra are our primary concern. The Scrying Pool revealed that Yagra had invaded our island. They must have somehow used the Abyssal Pearl to open a pathway. We need to get down to the beach and repel the invaders. The Sea Sloat have always been envious of Arteum and its secrets. From the beach, they can reach the ruins of the College of Sigix, where we store relics and other items of arcane significance. If the Sea Sloat acquire any of those artifacts... That's a mystery we can solve after we deal with the immediate problem. We need to get down to the beach, destroy the Pearl, and close the Yagra's portal. Will you aid me in these endeavors? Follow the right, Master. I'll force myself and meet you there. My word! The vision...
Let me accompany you. You need to rally the others. Your friend and I should be able to handle this. It seems the right master prefers your company in this matter to mine. Be careful in there. If the Yagra made it onto Arteum, I can't imagine that one or more of the Seaslode will be very far behind. This? This was once the famed College of Sigics. It dates back to a time when our order was much larger and we were more involved in the affairs of the world. Now the ruins serve as a repository, a vault to store dangerous items. Iridel believes that the sword was Dawnbreaker, which would make the Golden Knight a champion of Meridia. But let's deal with one problem at a time. It may not seem like it, but this situation has rattled Ikesis. Please keep him safe in there. We can reach the beach through this section of the old college. Hurry, this way. Before we charge into certain danger, you need to know something isn't right. I remember defeating Katora, but somehow the creature and its cabal have returned. And the Pearl. I have a vague memory of moving it myself. I am... unsettled. That's just it. The vague memory. It feels as though it belongs to someone else. Forgive me. We can worry about that later. Now, we need to find the Abyssal Pearl and cut off its connection to Arteum. Only then can we stop the flow of Yagra. Very good. After the Pearl is destroyed, we need to search the vaults and make sure none of the creatures breach the defenses. I tried to examine the area through the scrying pool, but something blocked my efforts. Are you ready to proceed? There's the pearl. Destroy it and close that portal.
Now let's go check on the vaults. This way! Hurry! These ancient vaults house relics of great power and unusual nature. I sense... Yes, Katora is here. Be on your guard, friend of Valserin. The Sea Sloat, or one of its agents. I have a strange feeling, so be on your guard. I can think of a number of likely candidates, including a few relics we believe originated in the ancient Sea Sloat kingdom of Ulverkus. Let's get to the central rotunda and begin our search there. They sealed the chamber. The father has sealed they this place, mortal flea! Turn it away so we can enter the rotunda. Another Daedric intrusion? My apologies. Daedric interference and Arteum's own defenses delayed my arrival. Mafala's webs? Oh, I hate those things! Allow me. Found me again. I'll return when I can. The champion of Meridia? At least he was helpful. You remember exactly I what I want I you to remember. As clear as day. And thanks to the orbs of Brock and Drell, your deepest memories will be mine. Black one, this does not concern the likes of you. Out here, quickly. We need to hurry if we're going to help the right master. It's a good thing I followed you after I alerted the rest of the Conclave. I think I can counteract Keturah's mind magic, but I'll need your help. Keturah is using the power of the Orbs of Barakandrel to enhance his mind magic and lock the Rightmaster in a mental grip. From what I can discern, the Sea Slode is flipping through his memories as you or I would turn the pages of a book. An ancient implement. Three matched orbs that our Relic Master believes originated in the Sea of Pearls. 
We long suspected they were connected to the Seaslode. Katora thinks the power of the relic will keep us from interfering. But I have an idea. Take this ward key. It will disable the protections on the repositories so you can locate the Ulvor staff and bring it to me. I can use the staff to breach the barrier and aid the right master. Just watch out for any lingering Yagra. As patient and enduring as the sea, worm. Now reveal the hiding place.
We're running out of time. Whatever the sea sloat searches for in the Rightmaster's mind, I believe it is close to finding it. Have you brought me the Ulvor staff? Excellent. And it appears to be in perfect condition. With the staff, I'm certain I can pierce the barrier and open a path to the Mindscape, where the Rightmaster struggles against Katora. Not we. You. I need to remain here to anchor you to the physical world. And you're going into Katora's mind. We'll use the connection between them to put you where you can actually hurt the Sea Slode within its own Mindscape. 